My man Cell Max had Gohan looking like this. Now it's been a long time coming since I was gonna make this video. I'm not gonna hold you. I've been ready to make this video for probably like four or five months. Boy Sin was slacking. I had not watched the movie. The other day on stream, I finally watched it. And this shit is gas. This whole story revolves around the Red Ribbon Army. A real quick lesson for all of you, just in case for some reason you forgot or didn't watch Dragon Ball. The Red Ribbon Army are the people responsible for the androids for sale, etc. But they've been fighting against my man Goku since he was a little wee lad. And look at this low ass dude with a stick beating the shit out of them. How y'all losing to little Goku like that? Shit don't make no damn sense. Bro out here beating the hell out of y'all in his adolescence. But, but that's besides the point. Our movie starts off with someone who has taken over the Red Ribbon Army. And they're looking for this fat little nick right here. Now this man Hito, I'm not gonna cat. He's mad smart. But he's also short and fat, and he can't get on roller coasters. But that's besides the point. Now, this man is looking for Hito because he is Dr. Jiro's grandson. And he has the knowledge to create the ultimate android. Now, Hito is a good guy, bro. He doesn't build androids to do bad things. This motherfucker is not Lil Milton. But this short, fake-ass Giovanni right here wants nothing more than to destroy... Oh, I'm sorry. To shape the world as he sees fit. Now they're gonna pick up this dude, Dr. Hito, and obviously they're up to no good. But he still decides to work with him because he just wants to build the ultimate android. And although he wants to create superheroes, this fake ass, slick haired, John Travolta looking ass dude is still gonna try to take advantage of him. Now before we go any further into the video, I just want y'all to understand something. That Goku and Vegeta, they were not in this movie. Well, they were in this movie, but they were not relevant characters. And instead, the story revolved around Piccolo and Gohan. Before we go any further and talk about how Gohan and Cell Max had their little bout, I wanna talk about how Goku and Vegeta had one of the craziest fights that I have ever seen in Dragon Ball in this movie. These niggas going at it. Ah, Kakarot, are you ready to get your ass beat today? Hey Vegeta, hey Vegeta, I noticed, I noticed that, that your, your widow's, widow's peak is looking, looking extra crispy today. today. Bitch, what the fuck did you say? Hey, if you beat me in a fight, I'll pay for you to go to a barber. And just like that, these two niggas get to boxing. All right, I'm coming up to beat your ass. Bring it on, fake ass Bruce Lee. Ah, block, block, block. I'll beat you with fundamentals, Kakarot. Oh shit, what the fuck? Just put the tree in half, you asshole. I told you I'm ready to fight. Oh, Vegeta, don't grab my leg like that. Damn, my oh, man Vegeta gonna talk to Goku like a salad. Yeah, you pause on that. Damn, this is going at it. Me, 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 block, 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 block. Oh my god. Yo, Goku let up on him. Oh, never mind. He had butted the shit out you. Oh my god. Yo, Vegeta and Cowboys on me and Kakarot right now. You know, these two dudes was going at it. When my man Broly was just sitting there, patient, mad as hell because he can't fight. And he's just observing it. Bro was just over there watching these two magnificent beings box. Now, I'm not going to lie. The outcome of this fight actually ended up more surprising than I thought it would. And we'll get to that later. But first, I want to talk about how my man Goku hit this dude with the craziest German motherfucking suplex I ever saw. Slammed him straight into the wall. Oh, my God. Hey, Vegeta, there's some fish down there? Man, hell yeah, cuz. I saw Ariel down here. Now, moving on, can we talk about something for a second? Because my man Piccolo went undercover at the Red Ribbon Army. He's trying to figure out information, trying to find out some shit. But this is some bullshit. So my man Piccolo pull up and he gets his potential unlocked, which is cool. I'm not going to cap, but my man Piccolo should have been did that. How you just now going to unlock this fucking orange Piccolo form? Or you could have came and got your potential unlocked forever ago. You could have been that guy. Bro, why didn't you do this when y'all was fighting Sam? That made no damn sense. 
Now you want to come through it all of a sudden. Some bullshit. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, yo. They be bullshit with the plot. But anyways, so moving on, we gotta talk about Boma real quick because that's really what I wanted to speak on. Why in the hell did Boma use these goddamn Dragon Balls to get a Shinron BBL? Bro, I thought that I was dreaming, but no. There's some motherfucker. Boma said, "Hey, Shinron." Damn, shorty, what's good with you? Damn, hey, Boma, you looking good as hell. Hey, Piccolo, hey, you hitting that? Are you not? Hey, listen, hey, Boma, listen, man. Shinron can give you some of that dragon dick. Damn, I can give you some of that dragon for your wagon. You feel what I'm saying? Ew, Shinron, oh my God, you're a horny dragon. Anyways, you think you can give me a BBL? <laughs> a BBL? Damn, wait, right, I can give you a BBL. Shorty, I'm about to make your ass fat. Also, could you extend my lashes a little bit? Oh, you trying to be a bad bitch. Oh yeah, Shinron gonna like that. You make me yourself look good for daddy, honey. You already know what Shinron about to do, man. I'm about to ride this dragon tail around. Dragon tail, dragon tail. I'm about to get some Boma tail. You can fail me. And just like that, Boma got a damn BBL with the Dragon Balls. Oh, nah. Boma, you out here using Dragon Balls for BBL? I thought Freezer was wrong for trying to get taller and shit. But you out here trying to get hips and dips and all that. Like, like, all you wild at, yo. I'm barring up. Hold on. But anyways, the Red Ribbon Army wanted to drag Gohan out basically to test out their androids. And I was just thinking to myself, why would y'all want to drag my man Gohan out knowing that he's the GOAT? This man Gohan is the one guy that doesn't need to train long to get strong. Yo, y'all need somebody to beat someone up for you? Make Gohan mad. So they kidnapped his damn daughter. That was probably the last thing that y'all wanted to do. Why did y'all take pain? Like, 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 what y'all got going on, cuz? Okay? So this man, Gohan, breaks this dude's gun. Man, what the fuck? Man, get that little ass nine out of my face. If you even move, I'm gonna blow your motherfucker. Shut up, bitch. Oh, wait, where my gun go? Oh, oh my God, that nigga stuck on my gun. I'm gonna ask this question one time, cuz. Where the fuck is my daughter at? Hey, uh, green dude, you wanna tell her? Uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's back at Red Ribbon Army. What the fuck? You're the loudest you got? No, no, my name's, uh, my name's Green Bean. Green Bean? What the fuck? Man, man, let's take it to my daughter. So this man, Gohan, get to pulling up to find his daughter, bro. And run straight into thing one and thing two. Bro, these dudes apparently are at the level of Goku Blue? Oh, nah. They going too crazy. So we get the boxing Gohan and Piccolo is looking like, damn, he isn't ready. Down there getting his ass beat. Maybe I gotta go down there and help him. I don't think you should. Daddy will get strong. Look at him. He's powering up now. No, the hell he not. So this man Gohan get to fight in thing one, and I guess he was a little rusty. I mean, this man Gohan had fought in mad long, so I can't really blame him. So he going to Super Saiyan, and I'm thinking, yo, take them dumb ass glasses off. Yo, hold on, Super Saiyan let you see better? What the fuck? I don't mean, man, since you got 2020 now, oh, anyways, he just the boxing this dude. Man, what the fuck, man? You think that transformation gonna do anything to me, guy? Man, will you shut the hell up? Oh my god, you got a blaster! Oh, this man got a ray gun! I want you to hit the mystery boss. Come here, bit. Me, 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 me. Oh, you can fight a little bit. I ain't going to lie. Hey, Piccolo, look at Daddy. He's fighting strong now. Man, he is getting a little stronger. Huh. Maybe he is going to find out. Oh, never mind. He's getting his ass beat. This man, Gohan, was getting punished, bro. I mean, damn. Hey, let my motherfucking daughter go, guy. So at this point, this man Gohan get to yelling because Piccolo decides that he's gonna fake hurt pain. And that is something that he shouldn't have done. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, oh nah, he was mad as hell. <sighs> man, don't do that power no shit. <sighs> and just like that, this man Gohan went into that mystic form. You already know what's about to happen. Hold on now, my man Piccolo getting into the scene. Man, I knew that was you, Piccolo. Like, what the fuck happened? Man, I couldn't tell you it was me, nigga. And he was hitting that nigga with a DDT. Yo, this man Gohan was out here using WWE wrestling moves, yo. Hit this man with, hold on. That might have been a, that might have been a brain buster, man. I don't know. He hit that nigga with something crazy. So they get the boxes still, bro. And I'm thinking to myself, hey, yo, is this number one and number two dude really that strong? And then they got the beat in their ass again. I'm like, nah, every time I'm about to count them out, they is not no Dr. Seuss characters. These dudes got straight hands. Oh, no, man, Piccolo, you special beat cannon. Man, why are you using it against an android knowing they about to absorb that shit? 
You know, none of that kind of stuff gonna work on this. Damn! Hold on, Piccolo fighting back now. Oh, never mind. He's getting it ass beat again. So, thing two is beating the dog's doo-doo out of Piccolo on top of this train. I mean, hitting him with all types of combos. Man, I told you stop playing with me, girl! Shut up, me, man. Hold on, what does Shimon say? Give me all that, plus a little more. Wait a minute, I might got some extra power. And then I was like, oh, shit. This man Piccolo got the coming back, and he was orange Piccolo form. This dude is big as hell. Shaquille O'Neal fused with this dude. Damn! Yo, he punching him like 48 times. It's doing nothing. He ate all of that heat. Yummy! And then he proceeded to one shot thing too. I mean, punched him one time, bro. God damn! I told you stop fucking with me. Bitch. Damn! Hey, thing to you good. Man, I'm already cut, man. Come over, give me all this shit. No, you paying on it. Yo, Pan beat the hell out of the dude with the swirly hair. I'm fucking got a half a scoop of chocolate on top of his head. Look at this dumbass cut. Top of his head looking like an ice pick and shit. Yo, I ain't going cat though. Pan hit him with the four piece baby combo. But what is that little ass fake Giovanni doing? Like, is he trying to awaken Cell Max? Oh, nah. Hey, you gotta calm down with that, cuz. Dressing like you in the Soprano. <laughs> Damn, yo, he put 48 shots in Dorito. And I told you, stop playing with me, little ass dude. What you mean, little ass dude? You're a little ass dude, too. Hey, man, shut your fat ass up. I put 18 O's in your back like a golf game. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> just kidding. I told you I had special skin. Oh, I thought you was going to do that. And that's why I put some special stuff on me, too. Look at me. Looking like a thick ass Tony Stark. I'm about to go crazy right now. Yeah. Yeah, look at this body. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Hey, get that bee away from me, Kai. I'm allergic. I told you my bees will fuck you up. You should have listened to me. Yo, did this man just get punished by a bee? I mean, I knew this dude was trash. I'm not going to lie, yo. But anyways, Cell Max ends up getting awakened. And this is when we run into a problem. At first, I thought, you know what? They might actually be able to beat him. Because Andrew 18 showed up. Trunks and Goten showed up. Krillin showed up. I said, okay. So if they just jump him, I mean, you know, Z Fighter style. You know how they do. They probably could put that pain in. Fake! <laughs> I would have been wrong. This man, Cell Max, is a monster, a demon. God, wait, this dude is different. I'm not gonna cat. This man, Cell Max, out here looking like regular Cell, but super swole. He swole Cell. Cell Max, you fail me? Oh my God, out here looking like an iPhone 15 and shit. Now, apparently, Cell Max is a very high level opponent, and that's why Gohan had to unlock this random ass form to beat him that is stronger than current Goku and Vegeta, which is crazy, by the way. But hey, man, they said it. You know what I'm saying? And if the writers say it, then it's facts. And hey, y'all can't debate it. You feel me? Uh, what the hell? Hey, Cell, what, what's wrong, buddy? Man, what the fuck? Man, why y'all wake me up early, God? Uh oh. Hey guys, if you hear me up there, we're in trouble. Oh shit! Danger! Help me, please! My money! This man, Cell Max, showed up and did a motherfucking city destroying ass move. Oh, leveled the whole playing field. He is mad as hell and his breath is hot. Somebody please hit him with a Colgate grenade. I'm like a bonus hot ass breath. Looking like a steam engine. Uh, I should have never woke. Damn! That's hot as hell! Yo, I ain't gonna lie, that motherfucker breath stink. Yo, Gohan, go shoot a command man Colgate beam in his mouth. Man, I'm on it, Kai. So they all get to jump in them, and I'm not gonna lie, yo. I thought these dudes were soft for something. They was getting punished. Man, this dude Cell Max had them on the ropes the whole time. This man Piccolo even went large on him. Pause on that, yo. Went large on him? That's crazy. But I ain't even know. I forgot that Piccolo had this ability, even though he did it before, you know, in, in, in a previous show. It was a long time ago when he did it. But I didn't even know the motherfucker could do I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This man got big as hell. So after they realized that they couldn't do anything to Cell Max in their current iterations, Piccolo decided, oh, wait a minute, this motherfucker got a strobe like attack? Yeah, yeah, y'all like this, don't you? I told y'all stop playing with Cell Max. It's, it's Big Cell. That other Cell, he was an imposter. Y'all ready 
Fortnite in the disco. This motherfucker shooting lights. Yo, did he just come on us with light? Oh, nah. Hey, Goten, let's fuse. Oh, yeah, I forgot we could do that. Fuse. I ain't gonna lie though, Gotenks actually did do something though. He cracked the top of this dude head a little bit and that was a much needed thing for later on. We'll get to that. But before we get to that, we have to talk about how this man Fat Tank's fat, sloppy, nasty ass had his butt out. Bro, what's up with you, man? Mama got here like Maja Boo, man. He gotta put a diaper on, cuz. Yo, thing too. Yo, what's good, cuz? Man, man, what we gonna do? Man, I gotta do it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to power up and I'm about to hit this nigga with the new. Man, don't do it, cuz. I'm gonna come with you. Nah, you gotta get Dr. Hito. He's still alive. Check your scanner. Uh, come help me, please, cuz. And this man, thing too, hit him with the super new. Bro, powered up. And super speared this dude in the top of his head. And that's when I knew that this man was really a true nigga. A legend. Because if you sacrifice yourself just to deal a little bit of damage, yo, that shit is never in vain. Even my man Krillin got some work in. Hit him with the solar flip. Yo, fat tank, yo, you smacking your butt, yo. Oh, nah, yo, that's kind of on that, cut. So after he hits this man's cell, Max it does a little bit of damage. I'm not gonna lie. It's the reason why he was weakened and he actually could be, you know, dealt with. And also, his damn arm got blew off. Motherfucker, it's Shanks now. I, 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 oh, hey, Shanks, you good guy? Man, you know I carry a chinchurri in my arm, right? Hell no. Pick up, get his ass, get big on. Hey, pause on that, guys. So after Piccolo gets big and they got one arm cell, they start fighting him. I'm thinking that nothing else was going to go right, bro. But basically what ends up happening is Cell beats the dog doo-doo out of this damn Piccolo. I mean, bad. He was smoking this nigga. And I'm not going to lie, he was beating him so bad that Gohan had PTSD. You remember the moment where Cell kills Android 16 and then Gohan loses his damn mind? Well, he thought that Piccolo was about to get killed, and he lost his damn mind. And here is where the title makes sense. Beast Gohan, the coldest nigga in Dragon Ball right now. Oh, nah. This man said wanted to go punch Gohan. He looked at this dude and said, That's all you got. My turn. Bitch, bitch. And I said, oh, nah, this man Gohan about to put. What the fuck is that? Yo, this blast bigger than the Earth? Oh, yeah, that blast was so big, it left the atmosphere. I thought that this man was about to hit Gohan with one of them nasty jaws. I'm not going to hold you. But this man Piccolo grabbed him up with his stretchy ass arm. It was like, get him, Gohan. Finish this nigga off, God. And then this man, Beast Gohan, hit him with the cleanest, nastiest, most disgusting special beam cannon I have ever seen. I ain't seen no character hit nobody with no special beam cannon like that, yo. That shit was different. That was an extra special beam cannon. Shot through his blast and everything. Blast ain't even stand a chance. Wipe this dude off the damn mat. Oh, did his ass straight through the head too? Oh, man, you know his brain gone. Yo, Cell Max, you good? Nigga, you know I good, guy. Yo, they did it, guys. We did it. Oh, fuck. You know, I gotta uh, explode on you guys now. And then this dude Cell exploded, just like the last time. And it did nothing, just like the last time. But you know what y'all need to explode? Them lights, because I'm not gonna cap. I got a banger vid for y'all, and I know y'all wanna see that shit. My man, Baby Vegeta, was one of the coldest in GT. And if y'all get this to at least 10,000 likes, I'm gonna hit y'all with that shit. My man, Baby Vegeta had everybody looking bad, I ain't gonna lie. Vegeta was down bad, but Baby Vegeta, oh, nah, <laughs> cold. 